it's true. I don't care if it's true because somebody said it. It's wrestling. So why the hell wouldn't you believe it? I'm going to take it and I'm going to with it. Wrestling doesn't give me a lot these days. Every once in a while, I get that interesting story, or I'll get that interesting character. I, I get myself just enough level of care or interest to stay at least a little invested, even if it's somewhat from a distance and I don't let any wrestling company completely and totally into my heart. Some of these companies will at least give me something, someone to care about, something, someone to interest me. So while I sit through a lot of crap, in my eyes, at least I can get something. And even sometimes that something is crap, but it is such crap that it is awesome, and I live for that. But then every once in a while, something glorious, something magical happens. And it feels like it's just for me. Just for me. And I know it's not, but I don't care. And not just because of my massive ego. It's because, damn it all, this is a selfish world, and everybody always asks the most important question of all, what's in it for me? Oh, there's so much. So, so much. And it feels so good. <laughs> so the reports are that WWE has come to terms on a new deal with John Morrison. Jumbo! John Hennigan, Johnny Nitro, John Morrison, being back in the fold of WWE. Yee-hoo! Now, I could sit there and say, he's been gone from the WWE landscape for, what, eight years now. So he's had plenty of time away. He's been able to apply his trade, work on his craft, get better, improve, and so forth. He's been champion other places. The WWE is at a point in time where he was stuck in a certain spot. They were never going to take him to that next level. And in those last eight years, you have seen, frankly, a lot of unworthy world champions that don't bring some of the things to the table that even a John Morrison does. So you can make the argument the timing for him is perfect especially if you were to bring them in on the October 4th debut of SmackDown on Fox on Friday night, trying to plant that seed of you never know who's going to be here. You never know what's going to happen on SmackDown on Fox. Like, it just screams out, this makes too much damn sense. You got to just, just do, 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 do it. And I don't care if he's denying it. I don't care if his wifey's denying it. What the hell do they know? other than accept the real deal of what's going on, but we're invalidating them at this point. Because damn it all, when it serves our purposes, if Meltzer or somebody reports it, then it has to be true. And in this particular case, it serves my purpose, so I am going to 100% buy into this lock, stock, and barrel hook, line, and sinker. Woo! Now some of you might be wondering, why in these blue devil, why in these blues and blue fox, what is Schweig Daddy be so excited about John Morrison, Joe Mo's return to WWE? Well, in case you don't realize by now, I sometimes revel in the apathy. No, 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 not apathy. Wrong word. The displeasure and the misery of others. Now, some of you sadistically do that when you try to reference things involving that Memphis Mid-Card piece of crap. You get off on it. It's weird. You need help. But in this case, I'm totally stealing from you. Because by God, I am going to revel in the potential misery, displeasure, distaste, and oh, vomit-inducing feelings that Jomo coming back to the WWE on Friday Night Smackdown on Fox or a Monday Night Raw is going to bring to my good friend, Triple T, Tasteless Tony T. That's right, the tasteless one. Jomo is going to be back, baby. Woo! Listen, this isn't medical ease. Oh, it's real, and it's going to happen. And I can't wait 
to text Tony T. They talk all about Jomo. I can't wait to sit there and send him YouTube clips of Jomo's highlights at Royal Rumbles, his entrances, his biggest career highlights, and all that crap. I can't wait to provide those weekly Jomo updates and not just via text message, not just via email, but I'm going to do them here during whatever show he's on, doing the weekly review. I'm going to carve out a specific segment of said review just for Tony T. Just to talk about Jomo and his love of Jomo and his passion for Jomo and how much he has truly deep down in the cackles of his heart missed Jomo. Like, this is the potential highlight of the year for me with professional wrestling. You can talk about the 24 7 title stuff with Drake, Maverick, and R Truth. I've enjoyed their work immensely. You can say The Fiend. I've enjoyed some of that, too, immensely. You could say the black man winning the WWE Championship at WrestleMania for obvious reasons. I enjoyed that immensely. But all of those good feelings, all of that goodwill, and all of those things, watching Goldberg squash, <coughs> fuck Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam. That might get me hard, baby. But there's only one thing involving professional wrestling this year that would make me actually bust a nut. And that is to hear John Morrison's music and watch as Jomo makes his triumphant return to WWE and being able to talk about it every single week, every chance I can, just to rub it in Tony T's face. Just to remind him of the greatness and the magnificence of the one he calls Jomo. Just to remind him deep down just how much he misses all of this. All of this. And as I sit here and I look at the camera and start to realize that more and more every day, I'm getting a little bit of a Jim Cornette hairline and I'm kind of sounding like him a little bit and that's also kind of scary too. While a lot of you jerks wish you had my hairline at 38, hell, you wish you had it at damn 28 or 33. None of that matters. What matters is, because Meltzer and others are saying it, it has to be true. Jomo is back. Back where he belongs. Back home with WWE. Tony, Tony, oh, sweet, tasteless Tony T. This one's for you, baby. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to give you your weekly Jomo update. Woo! God, I'm pumped. I didn't think I was going to be this excited about anything involving professional wrestling ever again. But yet, yeah, here we are. And it's like it was handed to me on a silver platter. And I love every single minute of it. WWE. If you signed them, you don't hold back. No retreat. No surrender. Straight to the top to him. John Morrison, world champion in 2020. We want Jomo with all the mojo. So that way Tony can say, he's a hello. And we can all regale in the magnificence of it. Oh. Woo. The Schlager, you saw it.